Ultra Mini, Ultra Mini Platform, Tasman, and Disket. These are some of the best selling styles of Uggs. Ugg is a very popular company that has grown over the past few months and has taken over social media, fashion trends, and was a very hot pick for this year's holiday wish list. It's safe to say that as you go on through your day, it's not rare to come across many people wearing Uggs. And even as you walk in the school's hallways, you'll see many students wearing a pair of Uggs. So let's join the trend and slip on a pair of these comfortable boots as we learn more about Uggs history, their mission and purpose, and their impact on fashion trends. Let's head down under to where Uggs first originated from, Australia. In the 50s and 60s, 60s, sheepskin boots were very popular in surfing culture. They were later termed Uggs, and they were, caught, they were the footwear that surfers used to keep their feet warm while they caught some waves. In 1987, Australian surfer Brian Smith moved from Australia to Southern California. He decided to start a business while he was in school for accounting, so he decided to start a business about sheepskin boots, or as we all know it today, Ugg. It took a while for Ugg to catch on in the States, since sheepskin boots weren't as popular as they were in Australia, but they eventually caught on with U.S. surfers and U.S. athletes. And in the 2000s, they were especially popular with celebrities such as Oprah, Paris Hilton, Sarah Jessica Parker, and the one and only Beyonce. Uggs took over the 2000s, and now they come back to take over Gen Z. As Uggs have come back in style, many people are comparing their old Uggs from the 2000s and their new Uggs available today. Many people have found that their old Uggs have a completely different logo than the one that are on the new boots today. This could be because there's an entirely different brand that also sells Uggs that's located in Australia. This brand is family owned and is called Uggs since 1974. It's family owned by Arthur Springthorpe and Faye Springthorpe. The Springthorpes took advantage of sheepskin boots popularity in Australia and decided to start a business. Arthur Springthorpe used to be a wool classer, which is someone who sorts wool into different categories regarding their strength, quality, and thickness. He used his years of experience to craft boots in their workshop. And just as Ugg since 1974 was rising in Australia, that's when Ugg started rising in the States. <coughs> But today, Ugg since 1974 is still very popular and has an online website that provides worldwide shipping and is still a very strong competitor of Ugg to this day. These two should not be confused since they have no correlation to, to each other and are completely different. Now that we learned about Ugg's history, let's keep diving, let's dive even deeper and learn about their mission and their products. Ugg's mission statement is, founded on feel, Ugg is dedicated to long lasting quality and enduring designs that transcend trends. Ugg also states, that they want to create products the right way, not only for their customers, but also for the environment. So in 2016, UGG joined the United Nations Global Compact, which is the world's largest sustainability initiative. They tried to persuade businesses to adopt sustainable and, ethically, and ethical policies. So by joining the UNGC, UGG hopes to lessen the impact that their products have on the environment. Um, UGG has a very strict ethical sourcing and animal welfare policy, meaning that they only get their fur as a byproduct of the meat industry, and the meat industry gets their products and animals from farmers. UGG is also very strict and only gets their, gets their products from either leather working certified tanneries or recycled leather. It's certain that UGG wants to create products that are good for the environment, so let's look even deeper into the products that are available. The Uggs best-selling item are boots, which are available for women, men, and kids. They also sell apparel, and they sell cute accessories. Some of their best-selling styles are Ultra Mini, Tasman, and Disquette. And they also sell jackets, which could be perfect for this unpredictable weather that we've been having lately. And they sell care and cleaning kits so their customers can keep their Uggs nice and clean. It's clear that Ugg has a variety of products to choose from, and I, I hope you can find the right color and style no matter if it's a pair of boots or a jacket. So as famous fashion model Bella Hadid once said, I love to dress up, but I usually end up in a leather jacket and boots. Well, according to Vogue, this is certainly true because Bella Hadid may be responsible for the upbringing of Uggs. In September of 2022, Bella Hadid was spotted in New York City wearing a pair of ultra mini Ugg platforms. Her look became viral on social media and Soon after, many celebrities started to wear Uggs too, such as Gigi Hadid, her sister, and Emily Katastrowski, 
a famous streetwear style influencer. As her look became more and more popular, many people started to buy more Uggs. And according to Vogue, the online search for Uggs increased by 152%, and the ultra mini Ugg platforms sold out as soon as her look became very viral. And it doesn't just stop there. This year, on this year's holiday season, Uggs are such a popular item that they sold out several times and they were almost impossible to get your hands on them. It's also not it's also not rare to come across many people wearing Uggs as you go on through your day, even as you go to stores or if you're at school here at AL. It's certain that Ugg is very is trending right now, but their future is uncertain. Will they end up dying out like they did in the 2000s or will they make another big comeback later on? Well, their vice president of design, Keelan Frayne, was interviewed by Vogue, and she said that the that Uggs are like our North Star. They're a treasure from our past, and they're the key to our future. So no matter what the future really has in store for Ugg, it's safe to say that Uggs are not going to be dying out anytime soon. So today, we learned about one of the trendiest topics, Uggs. We learned about their history, which originated in Australia, their mission and products, and the effect that they have on fashion trends. I hope that you learned about I hope that you enjoyed learning about this footwear and you found the right style and whether for you that's Disquette or Tasman, I hope you enjoyed learning about them. And despite, which despite their name are far, are far from UGG. Thank you and good day mates.